What's up y'all, King Dennis here with a review today on my Indigo Rose Tomato. This one especially for Rob Brown out there or in Texas or wherever you're from in the south. Um, these are my tomatoes. They will no longer be producing that much more fruits because they are mite infested. So pretty much whatever tomatoes that are on these guys will be just these guys I'm trying to find one that's ripe notice the colors purple yeah, hold on. and then it's still green right here so the green is the unripe purple is the ripening whatever is exposed to the Sun uh, will turn purple and then whatever is hidden from the Sun when it ripens will be red and I don't see too many of them so I guess I will have to do this one right here this one it looks like it's pretty much ready to go so I'll go ahead and pick this off so you can see a little bit better it's too hot outside so we'll head back inside it is about uh, 95, 90 degrees outside. I'm gonna wash off this tomato since it has spider mites and everything on my plant. I don't want to be eating spider mites as well. So Rob, this is how it'll look. Yeah, bad shot, hold on. All right, so it'll be pretty much purple all around, and you see the hint of red there. All right, so. Mm, nothing like eating warm tomato. But it's very juicy. As far as taste, taste ain't that great. It's not too tarty or too acidic or anything like that. Um, pretty much bland. Uh, which pretty much sums up why a lot of people just like to grow it, but they're not too fond of the taste of it. But for myself, I saute my tomatoes with food anyway. Um, so that's how it is. It's alright. Bland. Dropping stuff. Here's a couple more ripe ones for better reference. But these guys are getting older, so... Alright Rob, hope you like my review.